Hi, my name is Stephanie Rothert, and welcome to this three-week class. We'll be having three live recorded sessions, but I'm also going to be outlining everything that we're going to go over in Teachable, and then you can have it for ever. So this first little exercise is just to think about why even meditate. I mean, honestly, why? When I think about my journey with meditation, I'm still me. I still have problems. I'm still human. Um, I still struggle with things, but um, what has meditation done for me? It gives me an anchor to go back to, which is the whole point and foundation of this course. Um, I can always come back to it. I have a foundation, a structured way to meditate, a way to get in touch with my emotions, ground. It creates familiarity for me. For some people that might be praying or go to, going to church or um, if you're athletic, whatever sport you like to do. Um, but even in the face of unknown, which if you're taking this class during the coronavirus pandemic, we have a lot of unknowns. Um, so we're gonna be starting at ground zero and building up um, just like with any practice, um, the more tools you have in structure, the more creative it can get in the long run. Um, and so we're going to be exploring with both. We're going to be combining a system of meditation developed by the Berkeley Psychic Institute, which is very methodical and it's um, geared towards getting in touch with your own intuition and perceptions and energy and neurosculpting, which is a five-step, more somatic style of meditation, also methodical, working with healing your nervous system, and they honestly go really well together. Um, what's really important to me in meditation is a creating safety. Okay, you don't so you can always go back to grounding and the basics if you start to feel scared or weird because honestly, change is can be scary for our nervous system because we're used to being a certain way. That's why mindset is such a big movement right now. What's familiar feels safe, even if it's not what's good for you anymore. So with neurosculpting and these other techniques, we're coaxing our nervous system into allowing ourselves to change with very suggestive languaging as well. Um, it's extremely important for you to have a sense of seniority over your space and yourself and autonomy. So you have a choice. You don't have to change either. You can just enjoy meditating and enjoy the sensations. Maybe it will give you more peace. So in this little exercise, um, I want you to journal about why you meditate. Um, I wrote out a few things for myself, and then even this morning when I was thinking about meditating and during my meditation, I asked myself why. And so that's equivalent to, you can either use it to set an intention or it's just good to reflect, all science aside, what draws you to meditation, or if you have a practice, why do you do it? What does it bring you? Maybe it's just feeling a little bit better, or um, maybe it's healing for you. So, or creative, or whatever may be is fine. There's lots of different scientific proof and how good it is for us, um, and we'll be getting into that more. But we each, a large part of meditation is finding your own path and your own answers. And so it's more about what it does for you. Like alpha, beta waves, all that aside. Why do you want a meditation practice? How does it help you? What can you discover? Um, I'm super excited about this. I've been meditating for many years, almost 30 years formally. Um, thank you.